This is the video on how to use the Purewick external female catheter. This is the Purewick. It has instructions on the outside on how to use it. They're step by step, so they're really easy to follow. This is the Purewick catheter. It has some foam on it and a little gauze coating. This is where the urine is um, absorbed from the patient. And it also has a little collection chamber on the bottom of it. So the way that it works is once the urine is absorbed, it pulls here in the bottom of this chamber and then it is sucked up through the tubing. So in order for it to work properly, it has to have this space right here. You can kind of feel where the tube is. If this little space is not right here, it will not suck properly. So that's the reason why it has to be set at 40 and not max suction. If you notice whenever you have this sucked up to your patient that it's not sucking properly, you may need to pull this out a little bit and just make sure that space is right there to see that it's working. Now we'll get into the video. Examples of potentially eligible patients include patients requiring urine output monitoring but does not meet indications for indwelling Foley catheterization, urinary incontinence and or frequent urination, difficulty walking from bed to chair to toilet, difficulty using a bedpan, post-surgical or procedure immobility, skin injury or irritation related to urinary incontinence or diapers, bed rest orders. Contraindications, patients with urinary retention, diarrhea, breakdown due to something other than moisture, strict eyes and O's, menses without tampon, confusion, and people who can get up and go on their own. Warnings, do not use the Purewick female external catheter with bedpan or other material that does not allow for sufficient airflow. To avoid potential skin injury, never push or pull the Purewick female external catheter against the skin during placement or removal. Never insert the Purewick female external catheter into vagina, anal canal, or other body cavities. Do not use a brief or diaper, but you can have them wear mesh underwear. Discontinue use if an allergic reaction occurs. After use, this product may be a potential biohazard. Dispose of in accordance with applicable local, state, and federal laws and regulations. What you will need for your application of the Purewick. Suction canister, standard suction tubing, Chucks or absorbent pad, peri care supplies, clean gloves, extra canister for storage of the Purewick, and the Purewick female external catheter. Okay, so you're gonna attach your canister to wall suction. Make sure that you specifically use this suction. It has to be on continuous low suction at 40. So do not use this. Absolutely do not. We cannot use max suction. So, <clears throat> set up the canister, make sure that it works. Attach the pure wick, like so. And then you are ready to place it on the patient. Okay, so after you do hand hygiene and put on your gloves, you're going to perform peri care on the area. You're gonna assess to make sure that there's not any skin breakdown, there's no previous wounds, make sure that they're not having any diarrhea, they're not on their menstrual cycle, and then you're ready to place your Purewick. Now you're ready to place your Purewick. If you need to, this can be bent to kind of fit her anatomy better. If the patient is able to, ask them to open their legs. If not, grab another nurse so that they can help you open the legs. So this is going to be placed between the gluteal muscle, and then it's just gonna lay right against her and lay against the pubic bone. Then once the pure wig is placed, you close her legs and it will stay in place. Maintenance, replace the pure wig catheter at least every eight to 12 hours. A good way to remember that is to replace it once a shift or if soiled with feces or blood, always assess the skin for compromise and perform peri care prior to placement of a new pure wig catheter. Never use barrier cream on the peri area because it will interfere with suction. If the patient needs to get up with PTOT, store the Purewick as shown or place while the patient is sitting down. So if you have a patient that is overweight and you notice that this little opening right here is covered, you can put a towel right here to keep their legs separated. And 
it will keep this little hole right here exposed. So the reason that we need to have this open is because this is what is part of the overall suctioning of the pure wig. So if this is covered, it won't suction. So another modification is if you have a patient that is extremely underweight and when you close their legs, it's still moving out of place, you can place the mesh underwear that you can get from the floor on the patient and it will help to stabilize the pure wick. Also, what you can do is put a piece of tape right here and that will stabilize the tubing itself. So to remove the pure wick, you just open up the patient's legs and you just gently remove it like so. You keep the suction on while you're removing it and you can either throw it in the trash or if they're getting up with physical therapy or occupational therapy, you can just store it in a canister like this while the suction is on and it's still good to be used. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. We did not film an outro, uh, but I wanted to thank Nikki for being our PureWick super user. If you have any questions, please reach out to her. Uh, since we are rolling out the PureWick at this time, we have to prove competency and that you watch the educational vi video. So if you're watching this in the break room, there should be a sheet on the table that you can sign, put your name and 384 ID. If you're watching this at home or on your phone, wherever you are, you can go to the description box and you can um, fill out a Google form and that will um, have your name and your 3-4 ID and that'll prove that you watch this video and we can turn all those names into education. So please make sure that if you're watching this video for competency that you either sign the sheet or you complete the Google form in the description box. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! It's working. I know. It lives up to the hype. This was worth it. <laughs>